The only problem is, I don't think this deck is going to get the representation it maybe deserves because they just made it unholy expensive. Are there pre-sales yet for uh, the set, by the way? That is something I wanted to look at. Uh, Wild Survivors, there are. Okay, hold up. Let me jump over on Card Market because I was very, I was interested in that. Also, I am majorly disappointed that they didn't give uh, they didn't give Enemy Controller or Allure of Darkness a Collector's Rare. That is literally the craziest thing to me. Uh, let's sort by price. It's honestly not that expensive. See, the thing is, uh, okay, Stake Your Soul is a twenty euro card. Rock is a twenty euro card. Raisin is a 20 euro card you need three play sets of uh, you need a play set of each so that is that's 180 euros right there mad love is a 15 euro card which is also probably a play set so that's another 45 so that's already 225 and then they play two caesars which is another 30 bucks so that's 255 heavy burger another ultra rare two or three of let's let's assume three so we're on 285 now we're on 285 just for the core. Mad Love is a one of for sure. There's no way Mad Love is a one of. That's the spell and trap searcher. That's a good card. It's also a dark. I don't think it's a one of Skrelp. Maybe two, but I don't think it's a one of. I was joking for budget reasons. Oh, okay. So it's the thing is the core um is gonna run you something like 300 bucks. Which for a deck that I'm not even sure is tier one or tier two, is a lot of money. Right? Like, the deck is not as good as Kashira, not even close. When Kashira first released, right? Or when Kashira became top tier, Kashira was a little bit more expensive than this, but it was also a little bit better. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think Vankersoul could be an interesting meta call if people don't know how to play against it. Uh, and it could be solid because, yeah. But only really if, um, like... If cards like Bestials, Bell, Kurikara, basically the Dark Earth and Fire hand traps, if those cards are good in this upcoming format, then this deck becomes good. The real question is, how much do you want to gamble? They give it a broken card. Y yeah, I guess you're right about that. If they, if they give them a really broken card, then the deck is going to be unholy expensive. And ironically, like, as much as I hate to say this, for the Yu-Gi-Oh! community, it's probably better if Vanquish Soul does not become top tier. Which is a fucked up thing to think about, because it's such a cool deck. But imagine if this deck gets tier 1. Imagine how expensive it would be, and I don't want Yu-Gi-Oh! to be that expensive. I think it's bullshit if Yu-Gi-Oh! is that expensive. I just don't want it to happen. I don't want people to be gatekept out of Yu-Gi-Oh! because the top tier deck is like a thousand bucks. But imagine if this deck actually was tier zero, right? Because, like, look at purely ultra rares. Purely ultra rares went up to, like, 50 euros at some point. If the same thing would happen to freaking Vanquish Soul, I think it would genuinely be worse than Cash Tira. And just the fact that, just the fact that I have to sit here and be like, it's probably better for the community if this incredibly well-designed deck does not become good is kind of sad. I think it's kind of sad to think about it that way.